Okay, it's pretty cool. Um, right, what I did is felt God. Um, I should have tried to video it. I've just had that message that it'll be okay to video and it won't interrupt. Um, I sort of diddled about a bit and I came upstairs and I sat here and I started to feel God. And I wasn't using my mind. I was using my soul. And um, what first came to me is the organs of the soul the mind of the soul, which carries the intellect, that it does have some intellect, but that's the smallest organ. The um, humility, and I, you know, that's an issue I have. And first of all, um, in the in the intellect side of things, you know, I was getting the message. So I'll just tell you quickly about, um, first of all, the spirit told me to sit outside and then the sun went away and I looked down the grass and it looked a bit wet and it, the spirit said to me, take this, take this and that's before I remember to feel God and it's through the feeling then that I really felt God him and her. He told me, um, but I felt that about the tool of cannabis is kind of being given to us as a result of other things that are there against us and that it's a tool, but to use it wisely. Do not abuse it. And there will be penalties for using it in the come down period, if you like. Like, um, for me, Monday was quite a hard day, and I was walking with the wind and the rain, but you know, I could take it, it was cool actually, quite enjoyed it in, in a way. And then on Wednesday, I was going to Aikido for the first time in years, which is a very sort of, you could say spiritual self-defense martial art. It's purely self-defense. And, and it's in a way that doesn't harm the attacker, doesn't necessarily have to harm the attacker. So much more about avoidance. Anyway, I went there and um, I was walking to Bodicut and I was going to hoover up some flies for my mum. And I was anyway. I won't go into it too much, but as I went to climb over barbed wire fence, I slipped and my old knee problem went out and I fell over and got my leg in cow poo and yeah. But still went to Aikido and it wasn't a problem and it was really good and really enjoyed it. So, but yes, the penalties for the, using this tool to that God has given us because of the things put here against us. Like all the chemicals is what came to my mind, but I wasn't sure if that was just a thought and not a feeling, because I don't know how I can... Anyway, what matters is now, isn't it? So, um... So yeah, every time you see the sun go down, in a sense, I'm not feeling I'm just getting rid of some burps. <laughs> anyway, I have to kind of get back into it. Um, but yeah, he's also, you know, then I was feeling the love, but you know, knowing the humility, that, that organ of the soul, you need to be humble, you need to get rid of any shame that you've had in your life and when you're up on these levels it's you know it's feeling so shame but so the good thing is that 
but you can just understand it as soon as you feel it and I'm not going to try and talk any of that I'm just going to get back into it in a minute and um, <clears throat> if you see the sun shine that's God agreeing with what I'm thinking or saying maybe if I'm going to talk out loud and and if you see it go darker then it's kind of a non-agreement but anyway it seems like a pretty <laughs> load of non-agreements to come but there's some spots so we'll see and um, I'll shut up for a moment or maybe I've got to do it on the next one because I might I mean, it's possible I've already come down a level. We'll see, we'll see. I'm um, working through some feelings of wanting to be famous. And it's good because you see, you're getting rid of this forever. Unless you keep building more up.
it's unpleasant but it's tolerable and there was fear at the start but as I'm seeing it changing I know then that it must be moving on subtle changes in the expression this is my shame of things I thought that are errors in my soul things put down to me from my father and you know other family my mother you know everyone you know society whatever generations of generations have been put onto us I'm saying thank you God. Now I'm beginning to feel your foot euphoria. all sweaty not surprising my face feels lighter and my eyes and my eyes feels lighter Still filming. Yeah. Well, that was that was cool. That was definitely um, <laughs> for an introductory video. First expressions of my face, you see, show something. I think, and I'm, I doubt that's the end of it. Thank you, God. That was, um, I had a dream when I was about 19 of me pole vaulting over these cobbles and thinking I'm really awesome and, and my brother pointing up at me and saying, King of Kings! And then, then you know, maybe then I really thought, thought you know, I was something and and what triggered it then was having to face humility over wanting to be famous. I've often pondered about being that famous and thought it'd be really cool. Thought it'd be really exciting. I would know you. That is another fear of being unloved. Because God loves you, and that's that's enough. It's amazing. I feel like I'm a baby again, the age of a baby. This wonderful bliss and peace. It's just pleasant, it's, it's a beautiful feeling. And why wouldn't you want to feel like this all the time? Okay? This is in the higher spheres of love. 
There's all kaleidoscopes in my eyes in a way. And there's this fuzzy feeling around the back of my neck and my back. And it's beautiful. Why wouldn't you want this all the time? <sighs> Which is why you must progress. The more you progress, if you follow this method, if you want to do it properly, better still come to me and I'll help you personally. You don't have to pay anything if you don't want, but if you want to donate, you can. Because one way is to work forward is to trust that God will give you what you need. He will provide for you. He's your father and mother. I'm sure there's an emotion about feeling that. We lost him. I've been going away from it my whole life. Right from the point you were conceived. Emotions, you can feel all the emotions around you. Mother and your father, from your physical father and your physical mother. Wherever they were, all the time. The first time I felt empty. And my mother and father have come to tell us. <laughs> and my grandparents were there. But I felt this emptiness. I was probably three, four. Because <laughs> by that time, I had lost God. <laughs> I don't want to look at the clouds because I know what's coming. <sighs> well, you never know what the wind's going to do. But don't try and predict what's coming. That will stop it. <clears throat> I'd started to be cruel to my brother by then, my younger brother. That probably totally shut out God. So then I was totally addicted to my parents. And they became my god, mother and father. It shut God out completely. It just <coughs> drifted away far enough. That's the place to start. I 
feel like I've come down a bit now. <laughs> I might stop filming for a bit. <laughs> It'll be cloudy for a while.